Hey folks, I'm going to shoot this little video really fast. I'm working on a program for a client who has migraines. Um, and in talking with everyone throughout the years, most of us have uh, had a headache or we carry a lot of tension in the um, face, which we don't realize, but I mean, we also all oftentimes think more about um, the shoulders and traps and carrying tension there. So here's the deal. Like most of us have posture that needs to be improved a little bit and this is a result of just everyday life in our current or present time a lot of us tend to slump more than we should we sit at a computer we drive um just gravity itself pulling down and then the fact that the muscles that need to be strengthened up tend to be kind of in a compromised position because of this posture anyway that's a whole other slew of stuff that i could talk about um in a different video but what i wanted to do is just show y'all two different self massage type of techniques um, using a tennis ball um, that you can do anytime anywhere um, you'll probably be surprised with the fact that there's gonna be tension in your face that you never realized okay also too like if you've got um, allergies or you've been sick um, it's crazy how tight things get so again um, working on a protocol for a client who has migraines you don't want to do overdo okay really important just use caution when you start doing things um, because it is going to be tender and it is going to um, induce a little bit of discomfort so don't overdo um, Bo recommends that also so what we're going to do first I'm going to show y'all just using a tennis ball so for those of y'all that did boot camp with me at City Park years ago this is actually if you remember the balls that we used to use this one is the single leg bridges ball so um, I know a few of y'all will remember those days where we used to use a bunch of different things like that but um, <clears throat> what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the tennis ball let me just say also too, tennis ball works great but I actually like for these kind of uh, uh, strategies I like the yoga tune-up balls better because they have they're designed with a grippy surface so they'll actually grip to the skin and allow you to spin like pin and kind of spin okay to do this so my buddy Jeremy has my set of yoga tune-up balls um, that he and Janelle have been using so I'm happy about that um, this is the next best thing y'all can grab a set of yoga tune-up balls off Amazon I think they're 14 bucks I don't make any money off of them um, I would recommend a rumble roller product but we don't make a smooth ball like that so mm -hmm. nothing against us there um, tennis ball so what we're gonna do is you're gonna first we're gonna hit the temple so you're gonna take the tennis ball and you're gonna apply a little pressure to your temple okay so what you're gonna do here don't smash the crap out of yourself but apply pressure and then I want you to twist it by, while keeping that pressure so you'll feel your skin kind of twist so once you've gotten that established what you're gonna do is just start doing some eye movements we're just gonna move the eyebrows up and down kind of see how that feels okay I know it looks weird what I also want you to do is move your mouth so we're gonna open the mouth and what you'll notice is that is going to um, if you've ever done any type of foam rolling or trigger point work or massage therapy same kind of sensation as if um, they're on a tight spot or a tender spot so it's gonna be that same sort of um, sensation that you get okay so I would suggest doing easy 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 maybe a minute on one side and then switching and doing the other side okay however you want to do it you can roll the eyes around move your mouth however you want but whatever's gonna produce the effect that we want with this okay second thing that we're gonna do is similar we're just gonna take the ball at your jaw okay so I don't like to go right on the jaw itself I like to roll forward onto the the top part of the cheek right here and get the tissue there so this one if you've got sinus stuff and I mean even just moving around and just applying pressure got a little fly um, will feel good but same kind of strategy you're gonna press and then spin and capture that tissue okay and then do your mouth movements eye movements whatever you want to do move that jaw around while keeping that spun and pressed against you okay so you'll be freaked out at how like this hurts in a good way 
okay? I have TMJ on this right side, my jaw clicks. When I first started doing this earlier today, it was clicking up the storm. And then just from doing a little bit of work, it's released a little bit. So yipping, try this out too. Um, really easy that you can do it anytime. So with the protocol that I'm setting up for Megan, what we're gonna do is start off with this stuff. We're gonna move into some neck uh, applications as well, which are kind of similar. A little bit of t uh, pin and stretch kind of technique. Move on to t uh, thoracic spine and do some work there. Um, and then from there, we're going to work into some <clears throat> mobility work for the T-spine and just looking at posture. So I'm going to have her start with doing, um, <clears throat> I don't have the list in front of me, but in that uh, realm, we've got like arm sweeps or rib rolls. We've got uh, reach backs. We've got wall slides facing the wall and then against the wall, whatever is appropriate. And then once we've kind of gotten things fired up that way, we're going to kind of lock in some strength and good posture by doing pull-aparts, um, various exercises that kind of hammer that mid to low trap region and kind of solidify this newfound improvement as far as like um, posture goes and the tissue quality being improved by um, locking it in with that strengthening work. So in a nutshell, that's what's up. So we got the temple and you got your jaw. I would suggest a minute on each side. Try them and just see what happens. And y'all get back to me if y'all have any questions or anything, feedback, whatnot. Um, let me know. Y'all have a great day. Bye.